Why stay Earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Must remember not to sneeze near you. At least you don't have rickets yet. I hope you're ready to shoulder a burden, friend. Muscular atrophy is practically a hobby in this colony. I hope you're ready to shoulder a burden, friend. Oh, you look better than my anatomy chart. You never did get used to the ship's gravity. Hmm. Nerve damage in your extremities. I just hope your brain's quicker than your hands. I just hope your brain's quicker than your hands. I wonder if you're also morally flexible. I bet you could slip into all sorts of hard-to-reach places. Your quick hands could get you hired by Sublight. Swift as a cheetah, also less extinct. I see you had a knack for misappropriation. Swift as a cheetah, also less extinct. Oh dear, you spelled your name with a five. That's all right, friend. I'll be the brains for both of us. Oh dear, you spelled your name with a five. Oh dear, you spelled your name with a five. Oh dear. Your corrective lenses need corrective lenses. Someone made a note that you're oblivious to flirtation. You've run into your share of lampposts. You've been commonly described as odious and boorish. You've been commonly described as odious and boorish. You'd need a navigational computer to find your temper. Oh dear, did you actually punch out your anger counselor?
I bet you could thaw yourself with sheer rage. Good. I need someone who can smack a little sense into this colony. Good. I need someone with an instinct for self-preservation. A laborer. You'll have plenty of company.
Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> Shit. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... All the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. <laughs> 